If you've been charged with a DWI, it's important to remember that whether or not you actually committed the offense is irrelevant. There are many defenses to a DWI. Keeping in mind that you don't have to prove that you're innocent, the state has to prove that you're guilty. And it's important that you hire an experienced and aggressive criminal defense attorney who knows what to look for and is capable of raising these defenses in your case. One of the most common defenses to a DWI is to challenge the stop of your vehicle. Law enforcement must have a reasonable, articulable basis to stop your vehicle in the first place. They can't just pull you over because it's bar close time and they want to see if you're drunk. You have to do something wrong or they have to have a reasonable belief that you're about to do something wrong before they can stop your vehicle. Beyond that, law enforcement must have uh, a basis to expand the scope of the stop into a DWI investigation. In other words, if you're stopped for a speeding ticket, they can write you a speeding ticket and send you on your way unless they make certain observations or clues that gets them to the point where they can do um, an investigation involving field sobriety tests. Uh, we've won many cases challenging whether or not law enforcement had enough evidence to get from point A to point B. It's also possible to challenge uh, your performance on the field sobriety testing. And that all comes into play when looking at whether or not law enforcement had probable cause to arrest you for the offense. Many people have physical limitations that aren't taken into account when they're being judged on their performance of the field sobriety testing. It's also possible that law enforcement simply doesn't give you the test correctly. If law enforcement doesn't give you those tests correctly, they can't use those results against you. So you need an experienced attorney to always look at the case and see if they had probable cause to arrest you in the first place. After arrest, there's multiple defenses available as well. There's an uncertainty of measurement that always needs to come into play when it comes to the breath testing devices. Currently, the state uses the Datamaster DMT machine. There is some uncertainty of measurement there, uh, which is different than a margin of error, uh, but you need to have uh, an experienced DWI attorney to look at your data master printout, see what your sample results were, and see if there's a margin of error there where your case can be reduced and possibly even dismissed. There's also potential warrant issues uh, when it comes to a blood or a urine test. Uh, new case law that's been developing over the past four or five years now requires law enforcement to get a search warrant in most cases before doing a blood draw or a urine test. Lastly, uh, there are defenses um, that are known as affirmative defenses. In other words, what you're saying is, yeah, by the time you tested me, I was tested over 0.08, and I might have even failed your field sobriety test. But what really happened was, by the time the police caught up with me, I had been at home for a half an hour or an hour or whatever the case may be. And during that time, I had consumed a lot of alcohol. While I was driving, I was under the legal limit or possibly even sober, but by the time law enforcement had contact with me, I had consumed alcohol after I had driven. That's an important trial issue that needs to be raised if those facts apply to your case. There's also potential uh, defenses in the area of uh, refusal to test, uh, whether or not it was reasonable that you refused under the circumstances and whether or not you actually refuse based on the facts of your case. It's important that you have an experienced and aggressive criminal and DWI defense attorney that can look over your case and raise these issues and have the ability to do that in court. For a free consultation, please call us at 651-341-5367 or visit our website at www.defendingmn.com.